go. So what's happening here is, well, this has actually been in the pipeline for quite some time, but about the time when I was taking delivery of the new Turtleback trailer, you know, back in February, preceded by the Anzabrego trip. Remember that story? Wow. Holy moly. About that time, they were in the middle of the Turtleback guys of engineering a suspension platform for an expedition trailer that's really, it's never been done before. This isn't an off the shelf product that somebody just uh, sells at like, you know, your local uh, trailer Walmart, if you will. This is something that these guys put together specifically for uh, this, this, this application. It's a really, really special, unique setup. Uh, the, 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 the mechanics and the engineering and the thoughtfulness of how this system is designed is, is really, to be, to be completely upfront, it's, it's way over my head. But the way Dave was, was explaining it, Dave, the owner of Turtleback, it, it's really, it's something that's never been done before and it's, it's very, very well tailored and engineered specifically for the application that these trailers, not only, um, not only for the environments that they go in, but it is crazy hot out here, by the way. I'm actually standing on a towel because this, the grass or the turf is so hot that I can't even stand on it and it's like killing me. <laughs> the engineering that went into this system, it's been tuned specifically for this particular application on this particular type of trailer. And it's a custom engineered sus uh, suspension system um, actually from Icon Vehicle Dynamics, which was sort of fortuitous considering the fact that I'm getting ready to completely overhaul the system on the 4Runner with an Icon Stage 7. So I'm gonna have Icon from front to back. This particular platform is going to be really, really incredible. I was talking to Kevin who has it on his trailer uh, and I was talking to Dave and he was talking about how, you know, for instance, the washboard roads that, you go, that, that we spend a lot of time on doing overland trips and overland travel, um, the trailers really get, they really get the crap beat out of them, if you know what I mean. And, and really, it's held up fine, but this is going to make the ride smoother. And so I'm sitting here, I'm like, I'm not riding in the trailer, so why do I care what the ride quality is? He said, well, firstly, all your stuff's not gonna bounce around that much, which hasn't really been too big of an issue, but it is, it does happen. He said, the other thing though, is that your trailer is an extension of your vehicle. And as your trailer is bouncing around and it's, it's rebounding and it's being affected by the different terrain that we're driving on, we're also feeling that in the vehicle. And if you trailer, you know that you feel everything that that trailer kind of goes through on the highway. You look back in the rear view mirror and your back of your vehicle's moving around just a, you know, just a little bit and, and things are, I'm sorry, I'm so tight on that, but things are just, this is going to be a much, much smoother ride. And the next couple of days, we're gonna really put it to the test. Whoa, how would you do that, Dad? Um, I don't actually wanna do it anymore. All right, we'll just do something. take one of these. I would take one of these. Flatbed, big, tall, four by four. You could really have some fun with one of these things if you were more creative, but um, that is more creative than me because I'm not like a builder kind of person that can like build stuff like this. But uh, let's go see how they're doing with the trailer.
Okay, so what we have is basically, it's kind of like a like an independent front, like an IFS, an independent front suspension kind of kind of setup where you have two. It's not a, a solid axle kind of deal where the where the wheels and tires, if you will, are are connected by one solid axle that articulates. It basically is two independent suspension system setup thingies. I, I'm not very. I don't have a whole lot of technical jargon here because, like I said, this is my background, uh, and there's a better explanation for this. If 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 you're if this is something you're like looking at and you, you're interested in, you should call these guys at Turtleback, and they'll tell you all the details, all the technical details. But basically, before as the um, the wheels were all connected on a solid axle, uh, there was a little bit of a suspension in there. That, like it's the, like it was, it was like a Timberin suspension or something. It's a little bit of give, but not much. Right now, so do you remember in Anza Borrego at the very end of that really, really nasty obstacle when Kevin, when Sarah was coming over and Kevin was was uh, was guiding her, and he was riding on the on the side of the trailer to try and. Going. Sort of compensate for the weight because the trailer was 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 leaning a lot. Um, I'm not gonna say that this is gonna minimize or change the dynamics of flipping or rolling a trailer. I'd, I would try and stay out of those uh, specific scenarios anyway, right? But, but, but this setup would allow some of the, some of the give to, to occur without displacing the entire trailer. The other side is that this would also allow, uh, obviously, a, lo a lot of dampening from some of the, 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 the corrugated roads, the, the bumps, the obstacles, anything that you're running up against that's going to change the dynamic of the trailer, the suspension's going to absorb the, impact's not the right word, but it's gonna absorb the, you know, the, the terrain a lot better. Uh, the trailer doesn't have to actually take the brunt of whatever it's giving. Here's the thing that's really crazy about this though. This suspension, like I said earlier, it's not some off the shelf solution that they're just like putting on here. This was a, a custom, specifically designed and engineered system from Icon Vehicle Dynamics, specifically tuned for this uh, exact trailer, the weight um, and you know weight specifications and everything else. And it, this is some hardcore stuff. I mean, I'm not a suspension guy. I don't really know a whole lot about it. But the people that I do know, that do know about suspension stuff, this is some pretty hardcore stuff. Yeah. And check this out. Do you see how tall this is? I mean, I'm standing right now, and the tent is 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 quite a bit. It's it's about two or three inches above my head. Before it was about a half inch above my head. So this is going to be really nice to be able to maybe more comfortably stand under here. Um, I wasn't planning on that. I don't have a a before and after picture for that because I didn't know that was coming. But I'm pretty stoked about that. And so then you can kind of see what this looks like. And you got the remote reservoir thing, you know, right right here. So I don't know, man. I'm 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 beyond excited. And they they they, they did a couple of other things for me that I frankly wasn't really expecting. Uh, this was my trailer and Kevin's trailer were the very first of the 18 models that had a lot of these new design changes. So there were some things that uh, that they've tweaked since then, and one of which is, is check this out. So beforehand, and you guys wouldn't have wouldn't have known this, but beforehand I had two, uh, you know, latches here that were pretty snug, and now we just have this one latch right there. So the table comes down so much more. Effortless, effortless, effortless. Can I say that word and get all that? <laughs> no, no, I cannot. Chew gum and walk at the same time. Oh well. But I can check my email and hold a conversation. Actually, I can't do that either. smooth it's riding back there it used to bump all over the place right now it's like it's like butter smooth look at that so at the end of the day I'm super duper duper excited about this new suspension system it's going to be really really awesome there's 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 a lot of the 
of the technical details that are like way over my head, but I'm greatly, I know this video is very, very short, but I'm greatly, greatly looking forward to testing this out tomorrow because tomorrow morning we're gonna get up early, we're gonna hit the road, and we're going to head up and do something. I actually haven't fully decided. I kinda wanna stay here in Arizona, but I also kinda wanna do what I was originally planning on doing and going back up in the Grand Staircase and hitting the Burr Trail for a couple of reasons. Uh, and uh, I'm confident we're gonna have some opportunity there too. <laughs> He's a funny guy, huh? I'm confident we're gonna have some opportunity there to really test this out. Um, there's a lot of things I'm excited about this and I, I probably had the opportunity uh, by, by the time you're watching this, obviously I've, I've shot you know the stuff for tomorrow and maybe had the opportunity to overlay. Put your hands here, Dad. What? Put your hands on the steering wheel. Okay, my hands on the steering wheel. Don't take it off. Why not? Because I said. Do I talk with my hands too much? <laughs> we'll see you later, guys.